part eight. Holy moly, she's flying along. We're already at part eight. Uh, I think this is going to be the last one I do in this recording block. I just wasn't feeling it last time. Like I said, that is creepy. Look at the male me in the peach suit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go with uh, ye olde streetle. I just, uh, it's the hair across car. It looks kind of neat. It sounds interesting, but I just cannot fucking drive with it. I think in this episode, I'm going to go with my boy Roy. Uh, he has some very interesting sounds. He has some very cool sunglasses as well. So, And... I think in this episode, let's see, uh, I still haven't checked comments, like I said, this is all being recorded back to back. The standard cart isn't actually even unviable, but I think in this episode I'm just gonna go with classic, uh, pipe frame. If I can get down to s cyber slick tires, we got purple, nice, alright. I'll even go with the heavy glider, look at this, we're, we're styling it up guys, look at Roy, we got Roy with his pink shell, the pink pipe frame, the pink tires, and the really cool super glider. Uh, super glider is the exact same thing. It just is. It, it's a heavy glider. There's half the gliders are heavy gliders, half the gliders are acceleration gliders, and it literally the only reason they matter is to bump up your weight class or not. Um, looking in this lobby, we have Gary who's at seventy-seven thousand VR. Okay, so we got someone here who likes to farm on the uh, on the low-level players. I assume that's him up in first with the uh, blue falcon because you know. I also think I burned out at fucking Super Bowl Subway. Why do I always burn out at Super Bowl Subway? Something about the fucking intro thing makes me just so anxious to click go. Either way, I get some coins. I already somehow jumped over people into fourth place. Jesus. I missed drifting speed, which means I drift off the damn road and I get pushed into a goddamn train by Bowser. Okay. You can get out of my face. That... What is going on? Okay, and now I'm in ninth. So this is my life now. Um, yes, I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that that person in the Tanuki Mario suit is the person with 77,000 VR. Uh, that's something people that high up love to do, is come into low lobbies like this. What? Hit me! <sighs> I'm not having a good race. <laughs> I enjoy the vehicle I'm driving about 20-fold to the one I was driving last time. Oh my goodness. Have any- have- has anything I've done so far been my fault? I burned out and that put me back into the pack. But past that, was anything my fault? I don't think so. I've just kind of been unlucky. Wrong place, wrong time. I'm gonna hold this bill for the shortcut. I'm gonna push this guy into the train. And I push my goddamn self into the train too because weight classes in this game are fucked. Okay. Somehow already in fourth. The guy is front-running like a maniac, but it's not even hard to in this lobby, like, Jesus Christ. I just am a little salty with how my race has gone so far. That's all. Not even good enough to grab those shrooms. Alright. Okay, I should not... He says as he fails and hits the wall and doesn't drift. Oh my goodness. Maybe I am that bad. Another blue shell going for that guy in first. Uh, interesting race. Pull the golden in second kind of race. That's what that kind of race was. That's what that race was. <laughs> when you talk about interesting kind of races, that was a, a pull the golden in second kind of race. As you can see, though, we won in the style points. As, uh, as Callie in Splatoon always says, Winning is temporary, looking fresh is forever, and, I mean, look at my screen, I look fresh as hell. Uh, <laughs> regardless, my goal in this video is to keep up with that player, at least one of the tracks. It will not be Mario Kart Stadium, it very well could be Sweet Sweet Canyon. Cheese Land is literally a fucking throw your hats in the air and see what one lands first because of the mushroom cuts. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people still in the lobby. I hope that guy at 77 grand is still in the lobby. Uh, I'm just gonna go random. I guess we could check. Yeah, Gary still chilling over there. We got Simple, who actually has a decent score as well. I believe Simple had 10k, which is obviously what we are racing towards on this road. Uh, I'll wish him some luck. Um, and we'll just have to see, as we indeed have 10 people in this lobby, two slots missing. Uh, I'd love a random track. I don't really want any of these. Looks like it might be random. In fact, we get my f second favorite track. I have a lot of favorite tracks in this game. 
But Cheese Land's definitely up there. Yeah, we got Bob, who... We, we got our lobby ranging anywhere from, Hi, I'm Bob, and it's my second race, to, Hi, I'm Gary, and it's my 30,000th race. Um, a lot of people love to use Tanuki Mario. I don't get it. Like, when they're, when they're, like, super good at this game. If I had a choice of using a random character... Hello? Okay, th you know what? This is just gonna be... This whole series so far, I think I've burned out more than I've gotten the perfect start bonus. And I 100% blame that on Wi-Fi. Because I I am I'm a huge believer of the fact that the Wi-Fi start bonus is slightly different, like maybe 20 frames or so than the time trial one, and it really fucks with people. What did I just get stuck to? This game is fucking weird today, man. It's like don't get low glider, which is upsetting, and I have about 40 million stars behind me, which is gonna pressure me into using mine, and I fall off because of it. Okay, not a good race so far. Not a good race in any sense of the word. This race is getting worse for me. This this whole video so far has just been atrocious. The fact that I'm even gaining points at all during this road is a little disgusting. As uh, I guess I'm going wide even though I have the mushroom because, you know, spam the golden. As, uh, I'm not quite sure what those hops were uh, that that dry bowser was doing. I don't know if you guys saw that. Go back a little bit. So yeah, I'll show you this glider. No, I won't. I'll just jump off the course now. <sighs> Lakitu could not have put me down any slower there. <sighs> so as you can see, that glass glider cuts off a lot of time. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I'm not in a good mood. Not been having a good race. Jeez. Okay, so I got my trips. I'm chilling. The guy in first is far enough that I know I can chain more shrooms. In fact, I chain a bullet. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking use it. I don't care if the guys behind me are gonna pull shrooms. I don't care if... Oh, I actually get dropped off before this box. I'm pretty sure he was already done the race. Yeah, rip. <laughs> I've never used Roy before. The fact that he says, ooh, ah, yeah, woo, reminds me of freaking Randy Savage from uh, uh, WWE. But hey, look, another second place behind Gary. It's like, what is with these races? I am burning out at the start. Let's go for a checklist here. Burning out at the start, screwing up all over on the first lap. Like, I've never driven the course before in my life. Getting shit on during the second lap by, like, fireballs, boomerangs, red shells, etc. And then lap three, pulling some luck items that gets me into second, because I know how to use the luck item better than all the other random people in the room. Uh, leave this group no, I was just trying to select Ribbon Road. Um, yes, this, this should improve. <laughs> I said that in, like, episode four, but I believe last episode, actually, I was talking about consistency. And, uh, consistency is just a joke. Like, my consistency is so bad. Some races, I'll actually be able to front run, I wouldn't say well, but it gets the damn job done. It gives me a pretty nice looking lead in a lobby like this. And then other episodes, I'll be like, right there the whole time. We got Super Bell Subway twice in the same video. Fuck, Nintendo, fix your goddamn DLC bullshit. I actually really, really dislike, uh, how, like, you've seen it in this series so far. Super Bell Subway's come up, like, what, five times? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Um, I really dislike the whole uh, DLC tracks get given priority and the fact that it lasts like nine months afterwards. <laughs> I'm voice cracking, I'm, I'm doing all sorts of stupid shit now. I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not a happy camper. And that's not what should be happening when you're playing Mario Kart. You should always be enjoying the game. Otherwise, why are you playing? Okay. Whew. Paint those lines. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Got up to the 10. Hit the boost panel, collect your item, look at the mini-map. Look at that, boys. We're doing it. Got a coin and insurance. If I get hit, I can get right back up to 9. Slide, slide, slide. Maintain that momentum. Take the corner tight. Ooh, avoid that, because it had a banana through the wicket. So that's a really decent banana placement, although... I'm pretty sure everyone goes through the middle bracket there, like between the three gates. 
I'm pretty sure most people go through the middle because the left one is too tight of a line. Like, it's actually really hard to get. Um, Alright, I'm at least at nearish my time trial pace because... Uh, that train is oncoming <laughs> when I time trial this track. And so far, I have not raced that well of a race, to be honest. Um, I mean... Okay, Mr. Ink, just... A f I'm flustered. I can't even speak properly. I believe there's going to be two trains here, back to back. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Can I drive? That Wario is actually, like, closing in, and you know why? Because I've driven like a drunken idiot like the last two laps. My lap one wasn't terrible. Okay, boys. <laughs> There's the second last video. Or second last race of the video. <sighs> Get me out of Mario Kart World. Stop the ride. I want off Mr. Bone's wild ride. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love the track though. That, that, okay, did you see what just happened on my screen? Could you imagine if you're racing and that happens to you, you'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Uh, I guess the correct answer would be take the inside line, but you know. As we're at 5777, we should be getting lucky in this last race. Let's pick a track I really like, instead of the new DLC bullshit. Because uh, like I said, the DLC tracks are fun. In fact, DLC track pack 2, I love every track in it. It's, yeah, I love every track in it. Except for maybe Neo Bowser City. <laughs> But when you get nothing but those tracks on Worldwides, it just drives me bonkers. And I would love to play a Yoshi Valley or a Wario Stadium, to be honest. Um, but who knows? We could get a random, and it could pick, like, Baby Park or Excite Bike Arena, and we'll get more DLC, because DLC, DLC, DLC. Can you tell that I'm a little salty? Oh. <laughs> the salt levels are running high in the last two episodes. I, I hope it doesn't make it unenjoyable to watch. I know Mario Kart is a game that a lot of people love to see people get mad at. Uh, and you know, like not not so much the whole like drop the controller, yell, yell out of the room rage, but uh, just, just a nice little bit of undertone salt. But uh, man, it sure makes it difficult for me to play. Ugh. As uh, we got Peach who has 20k, we got Simple who has 800 million single points. Uh, no, he has <laughs> 8,600. Uh, we're still rocking Roy the boy with the purple wheels, the pink cart, the purple shell. Uh, this is a track I really like. Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to front run, as long as you get even a little bit lucky. Uh, first lap, I like going down this way. Uh, I know the world record does it, doesn't mean it's faster all the time, but I like doing it because not only do you get coins, but you also get this nice mini turbo that you can just, you know, hop out. And the slides that I'm doing right now uh, do more for me than anyone else because everyone else is coming off, I believe, a trick boost. Uh, and you're coming off a super mini turbo. So obviously your slides are holding more momentum than theirs are. And you get a decent lead, actually. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to go wide here to collect these two coins. As it doesn't matter anyway because I'm going to get red shells. Oh well. It was... <laughs> Was fun when it lasted, boys. Let's see if I can get a something to get my top speed back up. As uh, it appears, we did manage to keep first place. Here's how you do the bridge here. It's actually a lot easier to hop over that bridge than you assume. Um, don't trick off that, by the way, because trick tricking cancels out any boost you have. I know a couple people have probably already asked me about that on Big Blue, because uh, on section three, whoa. Got lazy and forgot to take my finger off the hop button. Um, I know on section 3 on Big Blue, there's an area where there's a ramp that you just don't trick on. And it's because you have a super mini turbo. Um, it's not faster to trick if you already have a super mini turbo charge. Or, I mean, I should be careful what I say here. <laughs> because boosted tricking is a thing. But uh, I'll show you this lap and you guys can compare so I failed a little bit there on the bridge there. But it's actually a lot easier to hop over than you think. But watch this. If I trick over that, notice how my Super Mini Turbo is just gone. Did you notice how much slower I was going? My momentum gets killed. Um, and not only does it kill your momentum, but uh, it takes away any boost that you have at the moment. Um, 
So if you have a Super Mini Turbo still under effect and you trick, it eliminates it. Which is why, as you can compare laps 2 and 3 there, um, you'll see night, is, night, night and day why uh, it's not faster to trick in some spins. Sometimes it is. As hopefully I can race this red shot of the line. Yep. Slides OP. As wasn't someone in this room 20,000? Kind of goes to show you. Um, when people are up at like 80,000, 70,000 VR, yes, they're fucking good at this game. But when people are at like 20,000, they're, they're, they're good, but they're <laughs> definitely not unbeatable. As if you get a track you know how to actually play, um, you can, you can play it. It's no real, it's really no different. Um, I'm gonna stop tooting my horn because I'm not good at this game. <laughs> the consistency, I have consistency on about 10 tracks out of the 48, so. As you can see, Superbell Subway, once again, in the track pick list. Seriously? Really? Nintendo, please. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, consider checking out my other videos as well. And I hope to see you all in the very next one. Take it easy, guys. Bye.